Hello world, I'm back. Now that my exams are all over, I can make videos more often. Today, we will talk about how we can make a buttload of energy using Dyson spheres. Dyson spheres are hypothetical mega structures that completely surround the star and captures a large percentage of its solar output. This concept is a thought experiment that attempts to explain how a space-faring civilization meaning super smart aliens will meet their energy requirements once those requirements exceed that of what can be produced from home planet's resources. The idea of Dyson Sphere was popularized by a guy named Dyson, Freeman Dyson. Who would have guessed? In his 1960 paper named Search for Artificial Stellar Sources of Infrared Radiation, he speculated that such structure could be logical consequence for the escalating energy need of a technological civilization and would be necessity for its long-term survival. He proposed that searching such structures in the universe could lead to the detection of the advanced intelligent extraterrestrial life aka aliens. However, a large shell is not plausible as it would collapse into several smaller pieces by the stress and would fall in the star. However, a whole swarm of small collecting surfaces orbiting a star like satellites would be far better at stability. More complex structures would produce more energy but will be unstable. Other option is a Dyson bubble. Here the components will not orbit the star but will use radiation pressure to counteract the gravitational pull and the components will be stationary with respect to the star. The radiation pressure is the push provided by the massive amounts of light produced by a star and since both intensity of light and gravitational force follow the inverse square law, the ratio of gravitational force and radiation pressure which is directly proportional to the intensity will be a constant. Thus, if a sail is of right mass then it can be as close or as far away from the star and this can be used to adjust the power output of the Dyson bubble. We don't have the right materials to build a Dyson swarm as of yet. But graphene is a good contender. Graphene is light enough for the production of such solar sails, but graphene has not yet been fabricated in large sheets. We can send self-replicating robots to other planets to mine for the materials and then send them towards the sun. We can use these mega structure to search for advanced aliens. Any advanced civilization would want to use the enormous energy of their host star to advance further. The presence of such mega structure would alter the light emitted for the star system as the sails will absorb and re-radiate the light coming from the star. Any material glows with a distinct spectrum depending on the substance making up the material and the temperature of the material. And since the sails would be made out of a material not primarily present in the star in large quantities, thus we'll have a distinct emission spectra which we can observe using telescopes such as James Webb and infer the presence of an advanced civilization near the star. We are so close to 100 subscribers. So subscribe if you like the video. Thanks for watching.